Hey guys, it's Darcy K here. How is everyone? Happy Saturday. I hope it's beautiful, sunny where you are. Where are you guys joining in from? Diego, Moscow. Richard, welcome. Tyler, Yazer, Banjer, hello. Hi, Jason. How's it going? Today, I am over in La Jolla. Actually, before I even go inside the house, they have a little sneak peek of the ocean here. You can see the waves. It's really hazy day hi there how are you guys thousand oaks cool you're close so you know la jolla there's a little ocean view there this is a beautiful home i'm taking you into it's a good friend and client of mine lisa sasevich she's an inc 500 internet mogul who's actually at an event this weekend i'm just bringing some things into the house to kind of you're making this home from Mira Mesa. Oh, did you move away? Yeah, I would miss San Diego too if I left home. May or June. Hi. Awesome. Do you guys want to see inside this home? I'm going to give you some really simple tips that you can do on your own. I'm going to walk through the front door right now. So beautiful front door here. You walk into this nice little this is like an office. Lisa actually runs her entire business out of her home still, which is pretty cool. And this was, you guys, I have to tell you the craziest story before I show you too much of the house. Listen to this crazy story. Oh, and yeah, swipe right to invite. I want to get some more people on here because this is a really, really cool story that I'm about to tell you. And it'll be really, really inspiring for any of you entrepreneurs who are out there um, just maybe looking to start your business or grow your business it's it's kind of my story and where I started which was pretty much in this house you see right here so this was this was the beginning of a, a really fun journey Lisa and I met five years ago and I had just moved to San Diego and I'm gonna have a seat behind the gold gong while I tell you this story really quick. But I had um, actually applied for one of her positions that she had on Craigslist because I had just moved to San Diego. I wanted to start my own design company, but I didn't know anyone. So I applied to be her executive assistant. And lo and behold, I was, you know, I'd gone through the phone interviews and everything. Gold gong, yeah, gold <laughs> who else has that? Do you want here? I'm gonna tell you my story, but you've got to hear the gong. Here it is. Ready? <laughs> this is so fun. How cool is that? Can you hear it? Okay, I did hit it pretty hard. <laughs> that one was a hard one to find. You can't just like go into the store and say, hey, I want a gold gong. <laughs> So that was, that took some researching and it was really expensive to ship here. But so my story with Lisa, oh, you guys, I'm still giving away free copies of my book. So Instant Dream Home is my book. You can check it out on Amazon, Instant Dream Home. You can also go to instantdreamhome.com forward slash quick start and you can get a free sample copy. So the first chapter is in there for free, but, um, and Lisa's house is actually, in the book so you guys are getting like <laughs> behind the scenes actually inside one of the houses that's in the book but lisa's a really cool lady she's inc 500 she um she she runs this really successful business teaching other heart-centered entrepreneurs um how to grow their business how to sell without being salesy which was good for me so expensive yes it was expensive <laughs> the home was expensive too but 
The story how we met is really cool. I want to share it really quick with you guys. But I applied to be her executive assistant and went to the interview. Before I went to the interview, I, you know, told a friend of mine uh, that I didn't even want to go to the interview. It didn't, it wasn't, it had nothing to do with design. And I just said, well, who knows? Maybe she just bought a new house in La Jolla and she needs an interior designer to help her. That's exactly what happened. I went in for the interview. She was renting a house up the street and she had just purchased this house. And there's a lot of before pictures in the book that you can see, but we totally transformed it. So she, she said, well, I think you're a little, you know, too creative for this position. I think I found my executive assistant, but I just bought a house in La Jolla. Maybe this is something you could help me decorate. And so <laughs> that's exactly what happened. I never looked back. She's been, she sent me a bunch of referrals after that. People see the house and I get referrals and she, she helped me grow my business. I went to her speak to sell seminars. Hey, Rich, what's up? This Virginia Tech in the house, is that you? I think it is. And is Kristen on too? What's up? Isn't Periscope awesome? I love it. Have you done any scopes yet? Welcome. So you guys, this is the room we're working on today. Speak to Ellen. She helps. Yeah? Aw. <laughs> they have the cute you guys have the cutest little kids. Aw. Give me some hearts. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. <laughs> Aw, thanks. You guys can win a free copy of my book. Oh my gosh. This painting right here, Rich, I'm taking you into one of my very, actually my very first client in San Diego. You just missed my story, which you don't even know. Rich is a good friend from college, and I was just telling them about how I got started with interior design, and it was pretty cool because I'm in the lady's house, who was my very first client in San Diego, and we actually met because I applied to be her executive assistant <laughs> on Craigslist. And before I left the house, I remember saying, oh my God, I don't even want to go to this interview. It has nothing to do with design, but who knows? Maybe she just bought a new house in La Jolla and she needs an interior designer. And that's exactly what happened. And it turns out, I mean, she was the perfect first client to have because she taught me how to sell without being salesy. And she just, she was a huge referral for me. So she sent me, sent me a lot of clients. I never looked back. I, she left, she left town for a while and she left me in charge of painting her house. We faux finished this fireplace. That's a custom Darcy K art piece right there. Not one of my best, but it was, it was a replica of a Peter Lick photograph that she wanted, but that wasn't really in budget at the same time. So do you guys have any decorating questions? Rich, have you done any scopes yet? Are you loving Periscope? Yes, that is good. So let me give you, I'm gonna give you a little tour. These are their beautiful children. This is the room that we're working on today. We need some pillow help, major pillow help. It's been a little while since I've been here. And the reason I'm coming over today is because I just in, we just installed these new blinds, so I love these things because they're automatic. You just boop, ding, and you can also integrate this into your iPhone, so you can you can turn these on and off like whenever you want. Here's her little Buddha bar. She's got a nice little bar here. She actually works from this spot right here just because it has the ocean view can you see you can kind of see the ocean view from here colors are compatible yeah we need pillow help though I'm definitely gonna be changing out the pillows because these gotta go <laughs> we have new pillows but here goes little jacuzzi outside this is covered up but it's a nice little bed there bedroom she 
shower. The kids' rooms are my favorite. Let me take you into the kids' rooms. Do you guys have any decorating questions? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Rich, do you have any decorating questions? <laughs> Go ask Kristen. Some green you need. Yeah, we need some greenery up there, I think, too. Hold on, it's really dark right here, but. Look how cute this little girl's room is. These were custom drapes that we made. This super girly is Sierra's room. We have hanging butterflies. Get rid of the carpet. I agree. I'm not a carpet fan. Should be hardwood floors like the rest of it. This is just the cutest little girl's room. These are just vinyl stickers. I love these things. I use a website called Design with a Z. Designwithaz.com and you can have these stickers made like in any color you want. They, they literally, they just go on like a sticker. So, what little girl wouldn't want this room? I know it's kind of girly for all you guys who are on, but check out the little boys room. Hold on, I gotta find the light. There we go. It was so fun. Granted you guys, it's been a while, this hasn't, looks a little different than when I left it, but <laughs> look, it's like Disney World in here. Elijah loves this little room. Definitely nautical inspired pirates. <laughs> How fun is that though? All right. Oh, this is, this is a ladder. This was my favorite part about the design. I love this little shelf ladder here. And that's an actual fishing net from a nautical store. This is the little steering wheel that we found on eBay with a map. And for kids rooms, I usually take out the closet doors because it's a lot easier for them to get in and out of their closet with just curtains. Because those doors are heavy for them. So, that, we haven't done that room, really. Although we did put up some fun wallpaper. Love the wallpaper in here. This is my favorite room. I love these chandeliers. They get used a lot. And these sofas, if there was dust, this is trouble. If there was a dust, this is trouble. I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> but who likes these chandeliers? I love them because they're a little bit of rustic elegance. Oh, in the boys' room. Yeah. These sofas are usually facing each other. But anyway. I love, that's the Bergman mirror from Z Gallery, if you guys like it, you can still buy it. And it's funny to see, oh, this is a mantle that we redid, and this was actually a faux finish job. I have similar chandeliers. Ooh, you got good style then, Terry. <laughs> but this is, this was a faux finish job that we did on the fireplace. Lisa loves gold. You do, awesome. You do have good taste. I love the Bergman mirror. It gets used a lot. And then this, this mantle we custom made too. I love the little rivets there. Little, nice little California room that we're redoing very shortly. We're actually adding a window pane here. We're doing all new furniture, an outdoor rug. And we're adding a TV over there. The media cabinet. They do have nice wood flooring, it just needs to continue up the stairs. This is something I do a lot with the tile on the risers and the wood on the treads. It gives it a nice custom look. This one, this one was definitely bold on the color scheme. This is 
This is actually totally different than most of the houses I do. Most of the houses I do are like grays and blues and really cool color schemes. This one's really, really a warm color scheme, which is just totally different than what I'm used to. So we're redoing some things in here too. I found a really big mirror that's gonna cover this entire arch so it can reflect the, the view out here. It's gonna make the whole room feel bigger. I love using mirrors. This is a new chandelier we just installed, which I love. I didn't see that question about the risers. Can you repeat it? But yeah, you're talking about the stairs. Final result, excellent work. Thank you. There's still some things that are work in progress that need to be freshened up. It's been about five years, so. Oh, awesome. Terry, you've got good taste. What do you do? <laughs> Thanks for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This so this table needs some work. We are we need to freshen up the centerpiece here. This one is from Restoration Hardware actually. Those are There's a there's some other companies that I carry now that are a little more competitively priced, but that's what we installed back in the day picture wall back there inside note about Darcy she doesn't really enjoy doing photo walls yep love that place thank you yeah restoration hardware is awesome we actually just bought these pendants from them also which I love love the filament bulbs and you you got to put everything on dimmers got to have everything on dimmers for sure this one too the electrician forgot to put it in it's just not the same if it's not on a dimmer you want to be able to control the mood and here we go one last hit on the gong just for fun guys do you have any more questions before I go fluff some pillows or do you want to go pillow fluffing with me <laughs> I have to go thanks for the tour no problem thanks for joining in and stay tuned for more simply stunning spaces <laughs> all right thanks for joining guys loved it thank you I know you have good taste Terry <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some. Let me give you some quick little pointers about the pillows before I go, because this is something you can do on your own really easily. So let me set this up so you can see. But those pillows gotta go for sure. So let me show you the new ones that we got. And. These, love these. When you're pillow shopping, just find a mixture of patterns and colors that work together. So you can see that. These are gonna brighten up the entire sectional here. So we wanna just alternate with the pattern, color, Bling pad. Oh, here's some. You can add some more color in here too. I think. Mm -hmm. Always put your zippers on the bottom, and don't forget to cut the tags, which I'm gonna do <laughs> in just a minute. This is one that her friend made for her, Stassi for life. So we're gonna put that one right in the middle because it's sentimental. Let me see what it looks like from your end. Oh, you can see that. Okay. What do you think? Doesn't it brighten it up versus these 
old pillows over here. I don't like. So we're going to do the exact same thing on that side because I got two pillows of each, each one there. And then this sectional is really cool because it's modular. She likes to use this room for training purposes. So they'll move this. They'll, I got ottomans in a different color that, that, that way it's not this big sea of brown sectional, but these pieces move out of the way really easily. So it's really great for this space because the space is kind of odd shaped and she uses it for so many different things. So that's pretty cool. So that's it for today. My pillow tip. So it's really easy to freshen up your sofa with just some new pillows. <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions, Go to instantdreamhome.com forward slash quick start. I have my first event coming up on June 27th. If you guys want to check it out, you can um, join via live stream. Just go to instantdreamhome.com forward slash quick start. So I am giving away free tickets and a free book to that. So heart me, share this, and retweet this. So anytime you retweet it, um, let me know. Send me a private message. and. I'm uh, going to be keeping track of that once a week. I'm giving away the free copy of Instant Dream Home. So thanks for checking in, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great Saturday. Bye.